What's going on, guys? Rob at Three Strong. <clears throat> Explosions. That actually had nothing to do with what I'm going to talk about right now. So, let's move on. Um, clearly, I am sitting down. And if you are the type of person who is going to be in this position all day, sitting there in your computer, uh, or you're playing the piano, I don't really know, playing the drums, doing a little Tom Sawyer solo, but if you're somebody who's in the seated position for a long time over the course of the day, you are going to have some tightnesses. But whatever position you are in consistently throughout the day, because work, if we do, if we do certain things on a regular basis, obviously your body is going to get trained to do that. Certain muscles are going to work. Other, mu other muscles aren't going to work. Some muscles are going to be in a lengthened state. Other muscles are going to be in a constantly shortened state. If we look at the seated position, there are some tightnesses that can develop over time if this just happens to be your normal position. So with my feet flat on the ground, clearly I have pretty much a 90 degree at the knee and a 90 degree at the hip right here. I'm not going to focus on the upper body at all just focus on the lower body. So if I'm constantly in this position, and let's compare that to the standing position, notice how I have that nice straight line. So as I start to sit down, I close the space in my hips. So I have a somewhat stretch in the back here of, of the hips, but the front of the hips is closed off. So over time, these muscles can get very short. All right, so that can be an area that I stretch. Next, if we move down to the knee joint, if the hip flexors are tight, we get a little bit of movement in the knee here. But what I've done is I've taken my leg in from a straight position standing to now a bent position. So what I've done is I've shortened, by bending the knee, I've shortened the hamstrings. Two areas that we need to do and two different stretches that I can give you if you are constantly in the seated position is if we've closed off the hips and we've closed off this little knee joint here, the hamstrings, using the same bench, using the same thing, and you can do this at your office. Um, you might need to, um, you know, close the door or something, but it's all good. You're going to get, you're going to stand up, you're going to get your knee on your chair. So now what we've done is we've created a big stretch here. Get your knee on that chair. If you want to get fancy and your chair isn't on crazy rollers, you can lock the rollers. Now you're going to get into a quad stretch. What I want to do is take my hip and push it forward. Squeeze the butt and then I'll pull the heel in. And now I'm really going to feel my hips open up. And that's actually going to stretch all the way down the quad. That's the first one. Second one is if we are in the seated position with the knee bent, this hamstring, like I said, is in a shortened state. We want to lengthen that. So still using this position here, you're going to stand up. Again, balance on one foot. Use that same chair. Get your heel up. So now we've lengthened the hamstring. And you're going to not fold over because that's mainly my back there. I'm going to take my butt and push it backwards. So if I sit back, notice how that heel comes up because I'm shifting my weight back. Now I feel a really big stretch in this hamstring. And over the course of your day, if you do this a couple of times, now what you've done is those muscles that are constantly in a shortened state can now be loosened. You can get the blood flow, you can start to stretch those muscles out, and you have a lot more mobile hips so that when you go into the gym and do something like a squat or deadlift, you are not going to be tight. Because, let me guess, you are at work longer than you're at the gym every day, right? So then why not use that time to incorporate some of these things that, you know, you don't have that much time at the gym to dedicate to. 
So do it at work. Integrate it into your normal day. Okay, guys? Try those two stretches. If you are sitting at the heck, even if you're not, those are the two areas that are typically pretty tight on people. Do those two little stretches on a bench, in a chair, wherever. Loosen up. See you next time.